Hello. So one of the students I was tutoring asked me what an undefined sketch is. So I thought it would be good to make a video on it. Uh, so to start, I'm just going to sketch, uh, start a sketch on the front plane, and I'm just going to draw four lines, which is um, should be a rectangle. And um, SolidWorks automatically adds constraints sometimes, so I'm going to delete this constraint for now. And right now, what I have now is an undefined sketch. And there are two ways to identify an undefined sketch in SOLIDWORKS. Well, multiple ways, but the two clear ways is the line will be blue. In SOLIDWORKS, when the line is blue, it means the line is undefined. And if the entire sketch is blue, it means the, the sketch is undefined. And another way you, you can tell is if you look down here, you see it underdefined, meaning that the sketch is not defined. And what an undefined sketch is, is just a sketch that is not fully constrained. Meaning I can click any of this line and just move it around. I can click this, move it, and I can click that and move it. So it's not really defined. So remember I said this should be a rectangle. So now to fully define this sketch, there are two ways you can define a sketch. You can define a sketch by adding relations to it. And you can also define a sketch by adding the dimensions to it. And we are going to do both to fully define this sketch. So now I'll click on this line and I'll add a relation, an horizontal relation, meaning that now this line stays horizontal. I can only move it up and down, but I can move it at an angle just like how this one is. Um, so now we're going to do the same thing to this line, add a horizontal relation to it. And we'll click this line, add a vertical relation to it. Now the line is vertical. Again, I, I can move it at an angle like this. So now we'll click this last line and add a vertical relation to it. So now we have our square box, which our rectangular box, which we can't really move at an angle. But again, the, the whole thing is still blue, meaning that none of the sketch is undefined. So it's not fully defined. So the next thing we are going to do is constrain this corner to this origin point. So we we'll make add a coincident relation to it. Now you can see these two lines are black. Anytime in SOLIDWORKS where you see any line on your sketch is black, it means that line on that sketch is fully defined. Meaning that I can't move it, I can't drag it anywhere. You see, anytime I try to drag these two black lines, it's not moving anywhere. But these other two lines that are blue, I can still move them and drag them anywhere. So now the way we can make all this, turn this entire sketch to be black and fully define it is to add a dimension. So if I click on this line and add a dimension of two, and now you see that top line is black, meaning I can move it. Then I add my next dimension to that top line and make it four. And now you can see my entire sketch is black, meaning my sketch is fully defined and if you look down here it also says fully defined so that is it this is a fully defined sketch so the next thing we can do now is before you extrude or make any feature you always want to make sure that your sketch is fully black that is the rule to designing in solidworks it saves you from having so much problems later on so now i'll just extrude it and and maybe one and click OK. So now that is a that is pretty much what a non-defined sketch is. Is any sketch that is not fully defined. And in order to know if your sketch is fully defined, you need to make sure that your sketch is fully black. And an, another thing that I forgot to mention is, let me go back into my sketch and let me just delete this for. And now you see uh, it's saying under define down here, and I'm going to exit that sketch and make the extrude. You see now that I made the extrude. If you look under this feature manager tree and I click this drop down, another way you can tell whether your sketch is undefined is you will see this minus sign in this parentheses. Anytime you see a minus sign next, a minus sign with the parentheses next to your sketch, it means your sketch is undefined. So now if I edit that sketch and go back in, 
and um, add that four dimension back and my sketch is fully defined um, it says that down here when I go back exit out and you see this feature manager actually I go back the parentheses with the minus sign is gone so now you always want to those are the ways you can identify that your sketch is undefined um, anyway thank you if you have any question or anything else you want me to cover please feel free to let me know thank you and I will see you in the next tutorial